If you're coming to Queens next year, you probably have a lot of questions. Choosing residence, roommates, meal plans, classes, and how to find your place at Queens. I've been there and I've learned a lot over the last year. If you wanna know my best tips and advice for first year, keep watching. Okay, so first and foremost, residence. There are so many different residence buildings at Queens and all of them are slightly different with different types of rooms and things that they offer. So it's definitely good to know some information about those. There are some residence buildings like Albert and Brandt that offer bigger single rooms with a private bathroom that you share with one other person. So that's a little on the fancier side. And then there's buildings like Victoria Hall and Leonard Hall, which are a little bit more rustic, I would say, but they offer single room, double rooms, triples, and quads. I am personally in Victoria Hall, which if I'm not wrong is the biggest residence building here and I think there's like almost 900 people It's definitely one of the more social buildings So if you're looking for that, that's definitely something that they have here on the other hand Something I wish I knew is that as much as it is social that also means that it's really loud and they also have a lot of fire alarms So do be prepared for that funny the first couple times to run outside to the front of the building in your pajamas at 3 in the morning But then after that it kind of gets to you in all seriousness I met so many so many friends in res So if you do get the chance to choose between whether or not you're gonna stay in res I do suggest it because I met so many people, not just in my building and other buildings as well. Victoria Hall is really in the middle of things, so it's close to all the other buildings. So even if you have a best friend that's in another building, everything's close by, which is really great. Okay, so next I'm gonna talk about roommates. I am in a triple room with two wonderful roommates. I got really lucky, but I did actually find my roommates ahead of time. So I'm gonna explain the three different ways that you can go about getting a roommate. So the first way is if you already know someone that's going to Queens and you're already friends with them and you just decide to room with them, just choose a residence building and you request to have them in your room with you. The second option is you do the random roommate selection, which is where you just say that you want to have a roommate, but you don't care who it is, and they will randomly place you with someone else that is also looking for a roommate. I've met people that have met their best friends through that. That's also not always a guarantee, so just something to note. The third option, which is what I did, is meeting your roommates in a little bit of a weird way through social media. I know that sounds kind of weird. What I did was I followed the Queen's 2026 page. If you're an incoming student, you'll just look up with your year and people were posting, introducing themselves, which is a bit of a weird concept when I do look back and think about it. But I met so many people through this and I met my roommates like that. And it might be a little bit out of your comfort zone, but honestly, just reaching out to people and getting to know them is a really good way of finding roommates. Okay, next, this is kind of a weird topic but like food I had no idea what to expect for like the dining halls and all that kind of stuff coming into Queens I feel like there's some important information to know about that on the main campus there's two big dining halls there's Leonard Hall and Banree dining hall whatever residence building you choose it usually wouldn't be too far of a walk unless you're on West Campus in which case you'd have a completely different dining hall but with the meal plan you have meal swipes that you can use at those two dining halls but you also have something called TAMS and flex dollars those are a little bit confusing to explain but basically the simplest way to put it is you have a number of TAMs that you can use at different restaurants around campus. So like my building, for example, it has a restaurant called The Lazy Scholar, but it also works at Starbucks and Tim Hortons and Booster Juice and stuff. So you can get stuff for free. So in first year, definitely take advantage of using your TAMs and Flex Dollars. I have 200 TAMs at the beginning of the year and I totally thought I'd run out super quickly, but it's my last week here and I still have like 50 TAMs left. So use up those TAMs. <laughs> Do you want to be in my YouTube video? What's your tip for someone that's coming to clean? I know it's a party school and it's super fun but stay on top of your schoolwork because it yeah. does catch up with you. Okay so next classes. This was such a stressful process for me because I knew that I was going to major in drama and film coming into the school year which a lot of people like take time to figure that out so I wanted to take as many classes as I could that kind of fit with that. It is hard in first year to take classes all around what you want to do unless you already have a specific major like engineering or nursing or something and so choosing my classes was a little bit of a stressful process. I also did it at camp Camp, which made it a little bit harder, but I had friends in second year help me out with that So I don't have much advice on how to pick your classes because it's just kind of like what you're interested in doing And they do offer a plethora of different types of classes. It's exciting. Next year I'm declaring my major as a joint honors of drama and film. Besides that a lot of first year is just kind of a learn as you go and Trial and error try your best type of thing. So for the rest of the video I'm just gonna kind of give you some of my best tips I guess for first year and tell you about my favorite places on campus and in Kingston so far. Tip number one, go out of your way to meet people. I know this sounds really obvious to say, but I had to push myself to do that this year. It is really intimidating coming into a new school. Something I learned from my best friend Zara that I met this year, quite literally just go up to people in the first few weeks and introduce yourself and ask them questions about themselves. There's so many ice breaking questions that you can ask them. Ask them what classes they're taking, what their major is, what their residence building is, and you'll find that they'll have so many different commonalities with people. And some of those people will end up being your best friends. Other people might just be people that you know, you wave to when you pass by them. 
Hello? And I'm live right now. Yeah, the camera is on. Cassidy Como has it's me, Cassidy Como. As I was saying, just go up to people and ask them about themselves. I don't know, I think people like when people come up to them and ask them questions about themselves. And when you find those people that you've met on the street in your classes, that's always really exciting as well. So I recommend going out of your way. And sometimes like some people might not be very receptive towards that. You know what, like those are not the people that you wanna be hanging out with anyway, so. Number two, join clubs as much as you can, but also don't beat yourself up if you're not joining a bunch of clubs in the first year. I knew that I wanted to join clubs and like get involved in things because it's a great way to meet people. Coming into Queens, I was really ready to like face that head on. Moving to university is a huge adjustment in itself and there was a lot of other stuff going on so I didn't really get the chance to like join as many things as I wanted to this year. At least just get a sense of what you're interested in so don't always do it in the second year. That kind of goes with my next tip which is give yourself grace. Like I'm saying for a lot of this, it's not an easy experience and I certainly didn't have a glamorized perfect experience in first year but I learned so much about myself if it's not a perfect day or something bad happens like take it as a lesson and take it as something that's gonna build your resilience to make you someone stronger so I'm being all dramatic but the point is first year is not gonna be perfect everyone has different things that they're dealing with and a lot of social media is romanticized so give yourself grace okay my favorite places on campus and in Kingston. I love Theological Hall. This is like really random but like I drama lectures in that building and it is a gorgeous old building and has so many like really good places to study. There's all these like sneaky little places that you can go. go discover that. There's lots of fun places there. Number two, I love the pier. I know that's everyone's favorite thing to say. Having the campus on the water is such a nice bonus. The fall when it's like warmer people go swimming at the pier. Even now in April people are starting to go swim again which is so fun and I love just like going by the water with my friends. Number three, the Bader Center. This is where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time next year because I have a lot of my classes there. Google Maps it and check it out. It is the most gorgeous building ever. It looks like a cruise ship when you're on there. Really fun place. Hello? Mm. Yeah! Mm. I'll just sit here and watch you. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Downtown, I love Crave. That's another really fun place to st Stop with your commentary. I'm getting judged now. I love Crave downtown. I would love Crave downtown. I also love Montreal Thrift thrift store. It's kind of hidden off to the side a little bit, but I love it and I also love it because it's called Montreal Thrift Store. <laughs> If you are moving into residence, you'll figure it out as you go along, but I will suggest buying a kettle, maybe a portable blender, a mini fridge, a mattress copper, storage bins, get plants, get posters, deck it out, a nightside table. I never got a nightside table, but I wish I had. My roommates have one. And that's pretty much all that I can think of. Honestly, it's just your necessities. Bonus Megan special. Ah, <laughs> a tip I would give for first year students is preferably don't go for <laughs> okay to say. Don't stay away from the stay football team. Them. They're eye candy, but like that's all they're good for. Even if it's really early, just don't take econ. It's probably like not really helpful, but just don't take econ. And don't take German, right, Nadia? I don't take it. I don't recommend. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. Please let me know if you have any questions about going into first year, anything about Queens in general, and I'd be happy to answer it. If you're watching this video and you're committed to going to Queens next year, please sign up for orientation. It is an absolute blast and I highly recommend doing it. Maybe I'll be your orientation week leader. Maybe you'll be in my group. I hope you are. With all that being said, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm not okay.